guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to going to episode 18 of Healing Good Pretty Care. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Here we go. I mean, let me tell you something. This is really weird to honestly be watching this on Saturdays because I always watch this on Sunday, but because it's going to be storming almost all this week. Hell, I wasn't even able to do one of my other Patreon shows, and I gotta do it tomorrow. Oh, this. <laughs> oh, candles. <laughs> oh. He's developed a crush. <laughs> oh god yeah this is definitely um a question <laughs> boy Oh god, what the hell, boy? <laughs> so yeah, I think I'm gonna have to do this like every Saturday now, instead of waiting until like Sunday to record um, the episodes since they're out by 9.30 and it takes me like so what, 15 minutes for me to get everything because of course I had to get the file and then download it out of the burns for the sub into camp break. So yeah, so it was like 15 minutes. So I don't remember, I don't know. But yeah, I think that might be better because then I can do my Patreon shows on my Sundays. But I don't know how the hell I'm going to do this tomorrow because a storm's coming and I got to be, it's going to take me like an hour and three minutes just to get this last thing done for the day. I think I can do it. I might be stressed around. Plus, I still got, what, two more things to do tonight? Wash clothes, which I'm currently doing now. Alexa, did you just talk? Shut up, bitch. Hmm, I'm not sure. Shut the fuck up! Yeah, he just in love. He a hopeless old cutie in love. Yeah, it's just love. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't. Yeah. 
Yeah, love. <laughs> See, I don't think that's really possible, but, um... Now? Why don't you all go? She's so loud, oh my god. Everything like smelling around the shit that I love, oh my god. I know. Oh, love therapy. Yeah, things that, you know, calm me down. Like lavender and lavender. <laughs> um, really anything. Like you smell good, your room smell good, your house smell good. She's probably going to make like some pretty cure as kind of candle or scent or whatever. That's going to be like their signature scent. Oh. <laughs> so cute with this little crush. make a YouTube video or post something on Instagram that too Yeah, so that counts. That crash. Hmm? <laughs> well, at least he's not like Kazu from, you know, Runner Girlfriend because, I mean, mm. If he was, I would literally be hating him right now. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> Oh
Yeah, plus, I don't really think an adult adult can become a preacher. <laughs> Hi, baby. Hey, Akashi. Do you not like the smell of perfume? Mm. I mean, you know, you could just get some coffee beans, smell that ish, just to get that scent out of your nose. I mean, I get that because, like, you know, when you go to an aromatherapy store or a perfume store or anywhere where you get nice smell, like, <laughs> um, nice smelling, gorgeous smells, and you're just like, ah, and you feel like you're gonna sneeze, always smell the coffee up to your nose go back and forth a couple of times and then you just smell the coffee grounds and then eventually go back to smelling all the good smelling stuff Let's see, but the question is, are they going to be able to transform? Yeah, nothing seems wrong. I mean, it ain't like the episode that we had you know, a couple of weeks ago with freaking... Oh, God. Mm. I, I just would have assumed that we would have had something like that again because, I mean, no offense, that was a really interesting episode for those two as characters and as partners in, in the relationship. So it would have been nice to see, like, oh, hey, like, she can't transform because Nyanzanon's in love with someone else and he's never felt this way before, yada, yada, yada. But no, I get it. But still, I'm just saying. Maybe I'll buy that hair from Amazon that I posted on Twitter. Because <laughs> I really want the ombre hair. Because eventually I'm going to have to take this out. Not soonish, but. Okay. Catchy. Too. 
I mean, honestly, we barely really seen him fight, though. I mean, ever since his first official appearance. Oh, candle wax. And don't worry, I think by the time before Care Earth, Umi comes, you should probably win. <laughs> So would Grace have that one? I mean, it, it's red, but then it's kind of also pink-ish.
Oh. <laughs> Stop, my hopeless romantic is just getting to me right now. That's why. Aww. Poor baby. Oh, I know how that feels. That first heartbreak. Oh, you poor baby. <laughs> That was cute, but you gotta feel bad for him. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Exactly. And you can just, you know, eat something. No. Yeah, it'll make you feel better. <laughs> oh. She should have been fine. Bruh, no, 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 not when it comes to the dog. No, 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 no. What, what the fuck was that? What was that? You can't do that to me. No, that hurts. Oh my God. What did Lottie do to you? The puppy did nothing. The puppy just here living her best life. Like, no. Oh my god. I don't like this. I'm trying not to cry. <laughs> no, I am. Bruh, what the fuck? I don't like this. This is a really good episode. I just did not like that ending oh y'all just like broke my heart right there come here cody come here come here hey how you doing i did not like that that was so mean don't do that again let, let her be okay please i swear to god i don't want that mm -hmm. jesus christ don't do that please oh my god so only Umi gotta save her. Cure coming next week. And she she gotta be. I mean, come on now. Because unless she's like sick because of something else. Hello? 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 Hold up, Umi coming next week. Are you fucking kidding me? Hold up. This is episode 19. These, I mean, you know, I think ever since last year with Star Twinkle Pretty Cure, this is, we're now going into a new age where these cures are coming in a lot earlier. Um, than they're supposed to because they're not supposed to be here until like episode 25 maybe but I mean it would make sense because the fact is Latte is now she's got a cold and she's got to get better and shit like that and there could be something else but we're not really going to know until next Saturday but just having that out and then showing Cure Earth in the preview for next week it kind of assumes that yeah she's making an appearance next week so, I mean, but yeah, because it made, because last season, my best girl came way fucking early. I mean, that was like, we, we weren't even like two, the, uh, like 20 episodes in. We were like at what, episode 12 for Star Trek Pretty Care when, um, when she made an appearance? Yeah? As Mal? I think so, yeah. I would have to go back and look. 
But I mean, yeah, because and I never would have assumed that going into this season that we would have had another earlier appearance. But I mean, I ain't mad at it. I think it's a really good idea to have these cures come into the final, the fourth and final cure as of right now, um, to make earlier appearances because I think it just makes the show a little bit better. Um, one thing that I'm kind of hoping for Earth, I because as of having a conversation with one of my friends, um, we're both kind of hoping that she's not stuck up. Uh, as much as I do like some of the stuck up cures, sometimes they can be a little bit like annoying after a while, that trope of using it almost all the time. I don't want Earth to be the one who essentially doesn't really want to be like associated with the group. I want her to still be a little independent on her own, but I still want her to be like, yeah, I can lean on them for help because my best girl, Star Twinkle, was like that for like the first few episodes that she officially was deemed as a cure or like the second half of her series until like there were times where she warmed up to everybody else. But um, I just don't want her to be so very similar to my best girl from last season. Um, and then what's her face from Go Princess Pretty Cure? Because she was very stuck up. It's because, of course, she's a fucking princess. But, I mean, we ain't really going to know until next week. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view to episode 18 of Healing Good Pretty Cure. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Marshall Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday, Sunday for episode 19. Bye, guys.